crypto marketing. The U.S. election just happened in November of 2024, and the markets are hitting an all-time high. I bet you're wondering, how can you market your crypto project so that you too hit all-time highs? We see meme coins like Dogecoin almost getting back to its original peak. Now, let's talk about why it's different this time around compared to the 2021 bull market, compared to 2017 in crypto, and how the crypto industry has evolved and changed, and how specifically you should be thinking about marketing your project. NFTs, uh, the Board Ape Yacht Club, and what used to be popular back then isn't popular now. And also the marketing strategies, the influencers, the way that you build communities, and also the narratives that are being shared are going to be different this time around. And so let's get into it. So specifically when you're doing crypto marketing strategy now, there's a lot of lessons that have been learned. Specifically, we're seeing markets hit an all-time high because Donald Trump is going to be the new president of the United States. What does Donald Trump bring? He brings in regulatory certainty. What does it mean? It's that for creators that are building DeFi projects, meme coins, he's given guidance and also he's given his support and backing for these type of projects. One, because he launched his own DeFi platform. And so specifically when it comes to marketing your crypto project, you want to make sure that you have a credible team and also legal compliance uh, attorneys and also outside counsel and opinion so that you know that you're doing things in compliance with the local rules and regulations of your market. So say, for example, let's think about the U.S. Let's think about Polymarket. Polymarket is one of those standout crypto projects that has gone bigger than the crypto industry itself. Crypto is still very small. At the time this is recording, it's maybe a $2 trillion market cap. But if you think about Polymarket, Polymarket, Polymarket is the prediction betting uh, site that really was being quoted as the um, who's going to win the election. And it actually became bigger than the crypto framework. And, and what Polymarket they followed the local rules and regulations. They made sure that USA bettors were not allowed to use the platform. Why? Because it could be catastrophic for Polymarket itself. So when it comes down to marketing your project, number one, you need to have a trusted group of legal, of legal advir uh, advisors and also attorneys that can help your project. Ideally, people that are very familiar with crypto itself. At CrowdCrate, we actually published a list of the top blockchain attorneys and lawyers that are respected, that have been in the industry since the beginning, and also have worked on high-profile cases to protect you. What does that mean? Once you have this legal compliance built in, not only are investors, but also users are going to be more comfortable to be able to support your project. And also think about as an investor, if you're not following your local rules and guidance, it could literally be the end of your company because you're going to get notices and you aren't doing things in compliance. And so that would be one of the uh, top crypto marketing strategies that we recommend. Um, uh, another one would be just building your team. Uh, what we've learned from the previous bull markets is that Anonymous docs founders don't necessarily work as well with somebody that is a figurehead, that is the face of your company, and that's willing to put themselves out there. And this isn't just going for crypto, but also for any major project that's a tech project. And there's a good case study about the Airbnb founder, how they would take an identical tweet and post it from the Airbnb Twitter and then post it from the personal Twitter, and you'll see that the personal account actually got more views, got more engagement from these social media platforms. So when it comes to picking your team, uh, you know what they say, a lot of investors invest in the team, and then they invest into the idea or, or the timing and also the total addressable market and the tech that's in there. So yeah, another crypto marketing strategy is definitely find those a plus founders that are deeply knowledgeable about the problem that you're trying to solve. 
And the next from a crypto marketing strategy standpoint is to make sure that you have the right narrative. So when it comes down to narratives, right now the narrative is meme coins, right? It's about DeFi. It's about stable coins. Stable coins is a superior way for payments. And you think about the traditional US dollar, you think about the storage of gold and how Bitcoin is that new form of 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 wealth and and the storage of wealth and how it's just a superior asset to gold which has traditionally been you know hard to acquire it's hard to uh, transact in uh, i mean the physical storage of gold can you imagine taking a gold bar and actually keeping in your house and just how scared you would be at night that you know someone's going to rob you or even just carrying this gold bar from uh, one country to the next and this is why bitcoin is going to be that stable uh, store uh, a source of a storage of wealth and why people are in even institutional money managers are flocking to it and also it's a hedge against inflation now these narratives are what you need to ride as a crypto project and so when you even think about the largest uh, crypto VCs that are out there and even the angel investors that I know, so at CrowdCrate, what makes us unique is that we're actually investing into projects too. And we've been fortunate enough to not only invest into some of the largest crypto VC funds in the world, but also invest alongside them. And we know that they have certain theses uh, a thesis in mind for what they're going to allocate capital into. And you want to make sure you align into that narrative. And nowadays, right, going back to the meme coins, crypto is all about culture. It's about community. It's about disruption. And you want to make sure that you have these narratives into your project. And also, let's talk about AI and how AI is going to be transformative for crypto and how AI is essentially going to, in crypto, they're the perfect match for each other. And you think about projects like Sam Altman and he's doing WorldCoin and how you need the need for security, for um, interoperability. These are all buzzwords that, of course, people want to hear when you are promoting your project. They want to know that you get it. They want to know that you're able to get people really excited about what you're doing. So that's something they want to pay attention to. Another thing, and what's traditionally been the fastest way to market your project is influencers, also known as key opinion leaders or KOLs. And so this bull market, the same people that you follow today are going to be uh, much different than the last bull market. In the last bull market, uh, really at the top of the list, you think of the BitBoy cryptos, you think about Crypto Wendy O, at CrowdCrate, we actually publish a list of the top crypto influencers, and it's constantly changing. And then the last bull market before that, you had Ian Bellina, um, you had a lot of other names that were out there. Some of the OGs, um, even before that cycle, uh, that you still uh, respect, you know, it's different this time around. And you have a lot of new entrants that are coming into this market. And so when you are partnering with influencers and KOLs to promote your project, you want to make sure, number one, that they are aligned with your vision, values, and purpose. Number two, you want to make sure that it's actually going to convert. And so last bull market, we saw a lot of celebrities. You saw Steph Curry, you saw Tom Brady, you even saw Kim Kardashian, you know, Manny Pacquiao, Mike Tyson, you know, really getting into the crypto space. People are much more educated and aware now of who's behind these projects and also alignment of values and to make sure it's a good fit. So when you are leveraging these influencers and KOLs, number one, you wanna make sure that you have a proper agreement in place. You wanna make sure they're following the proper rules. And in the USA, it's known as the FTC. You have to give proper disclosures when they're promoting these products. And also we wanna make sure that they're incentivized for the long-term build of your project. And far too many times and mistakes have we seen here at CrowdCrate where projects would just go ahead and pay these influencers, sometimes up front, and the incentives wouldn't be aligned so that they would even have the project success and the influencer success kind of uh, go in the same direction. So that's something you want to uh, uh, watch out for is really to make sure that the agreement is, is clearly laid out, make sure that the incentives are there, make sure they're in alignment. 
is there as well. And so another marketing strategy, it really comes down to community building. And so community building, we've seen the evolution of community building since the early days of Telegram. Actually, CrowdCrate helped build the fastest selling token sale uh, in Asia, I believe this is in uh, 2018. They did $18 million in two hours. We were actually the community management team that helped alongside that. So we've really seen the evolution of communities being built in crypto. This time around, it's really about X, also known as Twitter. And so you want to build your community on there first and foremost, and then you also have Discord, you also have Telegram. Now, some of the strategies when it comes to uh, building a community, of course, it, it goes uh, with memes. And so if you go to X and you go to Twitter, you'll see that creating culture to get attention. I mean, even Solana, they posted, you know, I thought one of the funniest videos uh, for marketing in the crypto space done in a long time and really just joking uh, or just like hinting at the joke of, uh, you know, having a project that gets funded by VCs and has all these technical use cases, but really at the end of the day, you just want to build for your core user. And so this time around, uh, definitely when it comes to creating content that is entertaining, it's engaging, you know, it's touching on these narratives, and it's also designing with UI UX in mind. So when it comes to marketing, uh, traditionally for crypto in the, in the previous uh, bear and bull market cycles, you've seen that people just throws out buzzwords, blockchain this, you know, crypto that, NFT this. But this time around, you'll see that some of the most successful projects, and we think about Polymarket and any product that's really had mass stream adoption, was it was beautifully designed. So UI UX, uh, in terms of a marketing strategy, make sure that your product is beautifully designed, that it's easy to use, that it's easy to draw people in, that there's referral incentives that are built in there. Uh, uh, our clients here at CrowdCreator are actually some of the largest exchanges and also marketplaces in crypto. And we've been fortunate enough to kind of learn how they did it. And, you know, they share examples how they just had product referral design features built in that would allow users to help you help them, which in turn would spin the flywheel effect of having a successful crypto project. So it's definitely an exciting time uh, where we're at in crypto. Uh, in terms of marketing strategy, if you have any tips that as well that you have, we really love to leverage the wisdom of the crowds. We value your feedback. Go ahead and put them in the comment section. Let us know what's working for your project. If you'd love to chat with us, we'd love to be able to help to hear what you're working on, see how we can support you. And overall, um, you know, let's build for the future. Let's build great products that people love. And, you know, this is a great opportunity for crypto to really break out into the mainstream. Why it's going to be bigger now than ever. We've had some great podcasts. An example would be one we did with Off the Grid. It's actually the first crypto game to really go mainstream. And uh, people wouldn't even think that it's a battle royale that is on you know blockchain rails if people don't realize that but overall at the end of the day please reach out to us for crowd create and uh, let's build together thanks